Good morning there. Uh, it's uh, I think it's gonna be a sunny day in New Mexico. Uh, I'm waiting at a truck stop, uh, truck stop slash uh, mechanic place. Uh, they're uh, fixing up the truck. <laughs> First day of driving it, uh, it, it felt horribly. I uh, I was contacting uh, the the boss and he's like, no, just drive, drive to the point where you just couldn't drive. But all in all, they're gonna get it fixed. So uh, I'm uh. I'm, I'm gonna hit the road pretty soon, but uh, someone let me know that you know, and I'm not gonna say who it was because I have no certainty about it. But it's about the video Adam and Neem, Adam and Donna, or Donna, Adam and Donna Nimitz fail. You know, I just saw the video on my uh, on my phone because uh, I wanted to delete videos, and I just I had called them the B word, you know, Suki, you know, you, you bitches, this and the other thing. But you know, I was never really like that. Uh, it, it came down to the winter of 2021 with Donna Nimick and Martha Skrupa, my two aunts, Donna and Martha, you know, they did something horrible. They showed me their, uh, their utmost cruelty, you know? So if anyone's like, you know, shocked, but they didn't know me like that, well, you know, I, I was never, I, I had moments like that, but rarely like that. Because, you know, when someone is absolutely cruel and inhumane, I will uh, explode on them like that. You know, maybe not so much in the face because who wants a confrontation and then, you know, it could get physical, this and the other thing. So you behave a little. But, you know, I'll gladly call them and, and call and, de and, dera and derail them off of uh, the, if if you want to call their sanity on planet of Earth, which, you know, they're pretty much not. They're very inhumane. They're, they're borderline evil. Actually, no, they're very evil, you know. But, you know, what Donna did to me, how she acted, how falsely she acted in 2021 and like how she... She almost worshipped the fact that I would get a stroke or something, you know? And it was a lot of relatives of mine that were like that. It's like, you know, I'm not an evil or bad person, you know? Even, even if as evil they are, I wouldn't worship or want that upon them. I don't think about that. I don't let that consume me and get to my, my mind and my being. So I watched it. I was like, I couldn't believe I, I actually called that. But, you know, I, I was just so angry. It's like I'm still angry at them. Like, how could I not, you know? I mean, uh, that's why people think that I was angry at the so-called, uh, the guy that owns this company. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I mentioned the company's name, but, you know, I, I'm not angry. I'm just frustrated. The guy is a really, he seems like an intelligent person. He has logic. He's very respectful. I, I mean, I'm not angry at the guy. I'm just very frustrated with, like, you know, my first day and the truck getting fucked up. The first day and, like, you know, the pack of the truck didn't go too well. I, uh... I honestly didn't think it was gonna fit. I thought if it was gonna fit, it might get damaged. Some of the products, I was very, very uh, skeptical. I was very like, you know, paranoid and stressed. Like something's gonna get damaged or it might not fit. I'd much rather we didn't fit and be like, we can't take this, this shipment. Let's ship this another another time or like another week or two weeks from now. You know, like if I was gonna come back from Cali, I would have told the boss like, if I come back from Cali like a week and a half from now, I'll pick up the other pieces on the way in Phoenix, you know? I was kind of thinking about something like that, but it's like, it's not my business. I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna give points to the shipper, uh, which is my company, or like the, the the producer to have any ideas. Who am I? I'm just a driver, and it was my first day, you know? But it's on the truck. I just saw like uh, the beam the guy uh, drilled. It's a bit crooked. I hope nothing got scratched or broken, you know? But I'm not really angry at those people. I'm just frustrated that you know things aren't going right it's like a lot of hiccups in the road you know and uh you just gotta uh, you know you gotta you gotta adjust like i heard somebody say marines are the first one in last ones out and they're the ones actually all military i believe do you know you're in the military you have to adjust to circumstances you're not gonna have a perfect day everything's gonna work out you gotta adjust the situation you know so i'm adjusting just that imagine driving like 100 150 miles and the blue death light is going on and you know it just says you know no you have no blue death in the truck and you're like you think you're gonna lose power and eventually like uh, maybe 200 200 miles later you just you just drive five miles an hour because <laughs> that's how i was driving for like quarter mile which wasn't too bad but i was driving five miles an hour on, on a highway and stuff and the lucky part was i pulled off at this station uh i'm not gonna t say the town's name but you know, it, I pulled off, and it, they just had a, a, a center right next to it. And, we're next, and, and this is the center that he called when I was driving, and supposedly I was going to pull in there. And I saw the time. I was like, well, I'm going to pull anyway because I need gas. 
It just so happened I pulled out of the gas station and the truck just didn't drive. It just went like five miles an hour, you know? So I could have braked it instead of being on the highway and then, like, you know, either getting towed or what. I mean, or he said they would have to go and fix this, this, and the other thing. So uh, all in all, I, I guess I saved him some money, even though I'm way behind, but it's like, you know, I can't drive 36, 48 hours, man. I'm not going to do that. Like, I need at least four hours. Today, I slept four hours, and I'm fine. Some people insinuate, oh, get some more sleep, you'll feel better. But it's like, I'm just not in the mood to sleep. Like, my mind's on overdrive, and I got these nightmares and, like, people's thoughts about projecting, portraying what they are inside onto me. Like, a lot of people did on iBlock.tv, PhoneLive.tv, Mark for Vaughn, he still does, he calls me a crackhead. I wonder what he does in his spare time. You know, I, I don't think he ever does drugs like that, but who knows? He, he calls me a crackhead. Uh, Block TV people did that to be stick of all the damn time. And it's like, you know, you can't even have a, a, a rest. You can't even have a conversation sometimes. Once in a while, like, hey, you find someone that has a conversation. Maybe the, maybe the person's nervous because they don't interact like that. Maybe they're just trying to think. But it's like, you know, some chick over there, not from here, says, oh, you're going to laugh at, at him or at that. You know, what's so funny? What would I laugh at that? You know, because, you know, it's like, cause I had a conversation where he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have jet blonde hair, like a Corvette or something. That doesn't fit your norms of the, what, what a cool person is and, you know, what a decent person is in life. You know, so many people are just so self absorbed shallow, conceited to the point of no return. You know? And uh, Donna over there, I'm not even going to psychoanalyze her or Martha, but what they did to me, they, they totally woke me up with anger. Absolute anger. And it was sadness. I woke up out of the winter and you know what? To those people, I will never be nice again.